Hi, today we're going to talk about finding cube roots. Okay, so a perfect cube, much like a perfect square, a perfect cube, if you extend that idea, are numbers that have three identical factors. So for instance, 27 have, have identical factors of three. So three times three times three is 27. Um, and we can now include negative, so perfect squares only had positive numbers. Only positive numbers could be perfect squares. But negative numbers can be perfect cubes because if you think about the way that integer multiplication works, um, like right here, negative eight is actually a perfect cube because negative two times negative two gets you positive four then positive four times negative two gets you that negative eight. So three factors that are negative um, has a product that's negative. So both negative and positive numbers can be perfect cubes, but of course not all negative and positive numbers are perfect cubes, only special ones. Okay, the cube root symbol looks a lot like the radical symbol except for one thing. There's a three right here in this area. And this indicates that we're not taking a square root, we're taking a, th a third root or a cube root, okay? So if I want to find the cube root of something, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the identical factor that when multiplied by itself or represented as a factor three times, I get the number under um, the root symbol. So I'm looking for the cube root of 64, that's how you read this. Well. Uh, what number multiplied by itself? So you can just sort of think about it in your head. Just run through some numbers. Um, 4 times 4 times, whoops, actually I don't want to write this here because that's not what I'm looking for. Um, 4 times 4 times 4 gets you 64. So the cube root of 64 is going to be 4. Okay. The reason why I didn't want to write this here is because this reads as the cube root of 64 is equal to 4 times 4 times 4, which is equal to 64. That's not true. The cube root of 64 is not 64, and I, gotta, I have to be very careful. Um, we sort of, even now, I want to write this down because I'm showing my work out, but my work says that 4 is the single identical factor that when multiplied by itself three times, I get 64. So the cube root of 64 is 4. Now the cube root of negative 64 is going to be negative 4 because negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4 gets you negative 64. Notice that the cube root of a negative number is a negative number and the cube root of a positive number is a positive number. Finally, if you want to get the cube root of a fraction, of a perfect cube fraction, what you do is very simple. You, ha you, you want to apply the cube root to both the numerator, you can split it up, and the denominator here, so th square root of 3 over 64, or the cube root. Okay, this is going to be 5 over, and then 64, the cube root of it, is going to be 5 fourths. Now, if you wanted to do it on a calculator, what you'd want to do is, so I'll check this on a calculator. Now, notice that this is the square root right here, and this is going to be the, uh, this little gray, uh, symbol here is going to be a type of root that's not a square root. So since we're taking a cube root, we're not going to use the radical symbol here. So I want to get, so this is above, this gray air, uh, gray symbol is above the um, the power key, so the caret that we use to raise something to a power. And that's because taking a root and raising something to a power are inverse operations. And oftentimes you're going to see that on a calculator is that um, inverse operations are going to be, uh, one's going to be the primary key, one's going to be the secondary key. So in order to get to this gray area, you're going to press second here, and you are going to press the power key. Now, the problem here is that it says answer, which means that it's going to go and get, it, it wanted something here, so since I didn't enter anything here, it's going to take my previous answer. That's because what I should have entered first is the type of root I'm going to take, which is three, and then let me go back and hit that root symbol, the cube root of, let me grab a, a stacked fraction here, 125, let me press the down arrow key over 64, and that's going to get me 1 and 1 fourth. Now we didn't get 1 and 1 fourth, we got 5 over 4 because we got a mixed number. Now uh, to convert a mixed, or we got an improper fraction rather, to convert a mixed number into an improper fraction, what we're going to do is go second and uh, hit that key. So this says to the calculator, I want to convert this mixed number into 
uh, the other form. So it's either a stacked fraction or a mixed number. I press enter and I get 5 fourths, which is what I got here.